Hello, my name is Anthony Francione and I'm a co-founder of Whitebox Geospatial. Today, I'll be providing you with a quick tutorial on how to download and install Whitebox tools for your operating system and how to launch and run our native GUI Whitebox runner. To get started, the first thing you're going to want to do is navigate to our homepage, which can be found at www.whitebox.geo.com. On our homepage, you'll find tons of content and information on Whitebox tools such as what Whitebox tools can do in terms of tool functionality and what kind of application areas Whitebox tools can be applied to. I invite you to explore our website further. You can find the links to the various pages on our site in our navigation bar. And, but for those of you who are interested in downloading software, you can do so by clicking the Download Now link on our homepage and that will take you to our download link. On our download page, you will find the link to download Whitebox tools. Version 1.5 is our most recent and stable release of Whitebox tools. Select the version of Whitebox tools that applies to you. For myself, I use a Mac machine, so I'll go ahead and select that. When you click a software version, prior to downloading, we do ask our users for some voluntary information as it relates to what sector and application area is Whitebox tools being applied to, and also what front end the Whitebox tools user community is interacting with. Once again, all this information is voluntary and you can bypass this form and go straight to the download link. Once you have entered all the information in, or not, hit submit and download and a zipped file should start downloading right away. If it does not start right away, give it a few seconds to try and connect to our server. Once it is downloaded, it will be downloaded to your download folder. You will want to go ahead and unzip that file and place it into your file directory. So as you can see here, here is my downloads folder and at the white box tools Darwin um, 64 bit file is downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and double click to unzip that. So the unzipped version is a folder named WBT, and I'm going to go ahead and move that to a different place on my hard drive, specifically my documents folder in a folder I made called Anthony WBT video, just right over here. Once that process is done, the download process for Whitebox tools is completed. You can Double click on the white box WBT folder and you'll see the various files that are located in the folder. To start using white box tools, there are multiple ways that white box tools can be integrated into your workflows. Many developers have created various open source front ends that white box tools can interact with, such as QGIS, RStudio, Jupyter Notebook, and ArcGIS. If you would like more information on that, uh, head over back to our website and click on the software link. Um, on our software page, you'll find a lot more information, a lot of more in-depth information about Whitebox tools, um, the, the, the application areas of Whitebox tools, and some examples of what Whitebox tools can do. But closer to the bottom of our page, we have a section called Integrating into your Workflow. And this just goes over um, the various open source front ends that have been developed for Whitebox tools. Specifically, in addition to the various front ends, Whitebox Tools was designed to be a command line interface and accessible through any program language capable of making process calls. Users can interact with the Whitebox Tools platform either from a command prompt, let's say from Python, R, or even NIM, or through any of the available GUI applications. Specifically, the Python programming language, when combined with the Whitebox Tools library, creates a powerful standalone geospatial application. Focusing on the GUI, in the WBT directory, there is a Python script called wbrunner.py. This script is intended to provide a very basic user interface when running the tools contained within the Whitebox Tools library. This user face uses Python's tkinter GUI library and is cross-platform. To use this script, the script must be run from a directory that also contains the Whitebox um, Tools Py script and the Whitebox Tools executable file. To launch the runner application, the first thing you're going to want to do is open the terminal and navigate to the WBT directory. So for myself, that is located So now I'm in the WBT directory. Once in the directory, you want to type the following command, which is python3 wb runner Pi. I, also, I should also note that all the material presented assumes a user system is configured with Python 3. After that command is typed, hit enter and a GUI will pop up. And in this GUI, you will see the various toolboxes and tools contained in Whitebox tools. 
From there, you can go ahead and select on the toolbox and then input the data to run it. For example, let's say you wanted to conduct a flow accumulation. You would double click on hydrological analysis and then you would choose one of the various flow accumulation tools contained in white box tools. For example, the D8 flow accumulation tool or the D infinity flow accumulation tool. That concludes this tutorial. In future videos, I'll explore how to use some of these tools and how to include these tools in various workflows when completing GIS and geospatial tasks. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed it.